Hey, what is up you guys? It is your boy Insanian and welcome back to this brand new reaction video. So a lot of you guys requested me to react to uh, Iu or Oi. I don't know how to correctly pronounce her name. Please let me know down in the comments. We're going to be listening to three songs. Never heard of it before. Lilac. That song is sitting at 27. God damn it. 72 million views. It was published on the 25th of March 2021 and has 2 million likes. The second one is 8th. That one is with Shuka from BTS. Shuka honestly be killing it. This one is sitting at 125. Ah! 152 million views and has 5.5 million likes. It was published on the 6th of May 2020. And the last one is BB. I don't know what it stands for, but that one is sitting at 232 million views. Thank you. <laughs> has 3.3 million likes and was published on the 10th of October 2018. So, uh, yeah, apparently she's really popular amongst the K-pop phenomenon. So, uh, I don't know how come I've never heard of her before, but I love dis discovering new stuff uh, and, and a lot of new K-pop related stuff that I don't know because I don't know half of, of it. I still have to learn. Keep in mind, I'm still a rookie, you know? So, um, I'm really curious when it comes to this. And uh, if you guys could follow me on my Instagram, would appreciate that a lot. Insane underscore. That's about it. And the black pink house I'll probably get into today or tomorrow. That's what you'll be expecting. All right. I'm gonna try my best. And if that one gets blocked, then I'll make sure to tell you guys and more videos and content and messages to get through the way. Alrighty. I got my subtitles on. Yep. So without further ado, got my coffee. Let's get right into this. Thank you so much for listening. So she's at like a... How do you say it? A depot or... Metro station? I heard the song before. I heard of the song before. I heard of the song before. I have a city pop remix on my SoundCloud. I have like a um, what do you call it? A lo-fi remix, I guess, of this of this version. It sounds familiar, but like. Ah, oh, that sounds so good. Sounds so good. Sounds like some Pokemon background music. I don't know. Like, it kind of has some Japanese vibes to it as as well, if, if you know what I'm saying. Honestly. Plastic Love. I have some great Japanese tracks, by the way, that that I would like to share, at least if you guys are interested. Of course, stay with me. No, no, God, I don't want to take it. I had like tons of Japanese, good Japanese songs from the 80s. They're so good. They're so good. And, uh, oh, fly the fly the Chinatown. Anyways, I, I'm just distracted. I'm sorry. Your boy got ADD, but uh, this is lovely. This woman is lovely. I understand why she's so popular. Honestly, her songs are different than, they really stand out. They really stand out. And like I said, they do give me like a little bit of a Japanese vibe, but it's so fresh. It's like a breath of fresh air. Like, ah, oh, this just sounds good. This just sounds good. It speaks for itself. That's it. All right. So what I will do is just listen to it 
will not pause and share my thoughts at the end of the video. Honestly, deserves more than 72 mil views compared to other stuff that I've seen. Let me just, um, yeah, fix this. Otherwise, you guys can't even see me correctly, and then it wouldn't give all the nice reaction. All right. Yeah, much better. Much better. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to, to say a couple of things, but it just went by so fast. I honestly didn't really pay attention a lot to the, to, to the lyrics. Which I usually do, but um, I was just, I guess, kind of hypnotized about the song. I really like the way that it started off with, with these visionaries, just, just this fucking train, CGI looking train, off the cart. That already caught my eye. That looked lovely. This. It's. That looks so cool. It's. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but it's, but it's so appealing to my eyes. And just the entire railroad track situation. And especially this part, 
because a good song usually also has good smooth running transitions and that is also with this one. First of all, it looks like she's at a party, but she is so vibey as a person, it just feels like I'm drunk myself and I'm dancing with her. It's, and it gives off that magical, lovely, you know, feeling when all your hormones break through as well. But uh, let's not talk about that. We're talking about this type of shit. This animation right here. When the animation started, the song also uh, changed. And I have tons of respect for animators. I, al I always wanted to be an animator when I was a kid. And I still have some characters uh, that, you know, I drew and such and some cute animations. And this is done so well, honestly. And then it just comes back to the song, the song, the vibe. It's lovely. I love this. I literally, I literally, 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 literally love this. <laughs> I love this shit. This is awesome. Oh yeah, and I, and I still want to uh, let you guys hear the uh, Japanese track that I, that I really liked uh, from the 80s. But I have to search it real fast, guys. Give me, give me one sec. 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 Give me, give me, give me. <laughs> All right, wait. I have so many songs. God damn it. Ah. Oh yes, 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 yes. There we go. Finally, dress down. Do you, do you guys know this song? My God. about 80s Japanese just 80s 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 is just the best type of music I'm telling you guys 80s are fuck with I fucks with 80s a lot anyways um, yeah this is uh, eighth let's check it out let's check it out but lilac was good loved it These visuals are top notch. You know that the production level is really high. before about the uh, third and fourth generation of K-pop and such. This looks like the fourth generation, but what I do know, yesterday I looked up for my own interest, uh, like the, the ranking of popularity from K-pop artists, and I saw that she was like consistent for like 10 years, being one of the most popular, influential people, artists in the K-pop industry. But yeah, this looks like it's fourth generation K-pop uh, because of the uh, CGI fused into this. But she, I don't know. Wait one second. I find it kind of odd, but I feel like she's really born for K-pop. She just has everything going for her. I, I really, I really love this. I really love this. Um, plus, she's fucking beautiful. I mean, let's not lie here. And uh, this woohoo woohoo. 
Kind of reminds me, the vibe kind of reminds me of uh, Circles by Post Malone, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> Oh, this is so good! Shit! <sighs> this type of shit is so Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Mm, shit! I have legit goosebumps. I see, I see. These visuals are top notch. The quality, oh my god. And then she ends up with a style like that. Bro. Is she is she in a relationship? The person who is in a relationship with her must I mean he has completed life, honestly. <laughs> Yo! I kind of get her style as well. Um, maybe it's just a coincidence that it's the second time that she ends off like she has been dreaming. Because in this case, she was trapped in like a simulation. And once again, I'm really sorry for not really paying a lot of attention to the lyrics. Like I said, the lyrics are relatable. But I'm just really feeling this song. And as a first take listen, I, I don't know. I just really vibe out to the song. I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can, you know? Um, and I really appreciate the fact that she, once again, cool animation. First, 3D glance, with her in like a uh, airplane. But then I saw this, which, wait, the visuals, she likes orange, I guess. Um, really bright colors, really colorful. Paying attention to different positions, even if you can call it in an animation, like camera positions. I see this, and I don't know. I'm I'm just a dude who really appreciates that. I really appreciate those those type of things. I like camera work, so I just really like visuals. And uh, if you have something for it, then you can maybe appreciate it more. And I like the fact that this also has 5.5 .5 million likes. I mean, truly worth it. Truly worth it. This also, this is also really cool done. And the people working behind it, props to you guys. You guys did an amazing job with this one. Sugar from BTS also did this part. But like I said, I'm sorry for not listening uh, to it, like, fully, because I didn't really pay attention to the lyrics. I will be adding those t uh, two songs so far in my playlist, most definitely. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. And I guess that, uh, I mean, the message and the vibe that she's kind of getting is like dreamy. It's like paradise. It's, when you're looking at this, it's like you're literally visiting a dream of everything that's good. You feel me? Everything that's, that's just good. Anyways, uh, this is BB. Let me know what BB stands for. I don't know. Let's just get it. Again, orange. What the fuck? <laughs> Mm, shit. Yo, 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 yo. 
though, it's, it's also these instrumentals. They are so weird, but they're so cool. Like synthy and wavy, kind of lo-fi, kind, sometimes kind of 80s-like even, and that appeals to me at least. And I love the fact that that still gets appreciated, even nowadays. It's like a mainstream vibe. <laughs> Oh, this is dope! This is literally portraying your artistry, you feel me? Oh my god, I don't want to crush. Only Jisoo, only Jisoo. No, stop! Oh my god, that yellow door. Yellow used to be my, my favorite color, now it's red, dark red all the way. I fucking love red. Uh, if it wasn't for red, I would have said, uh, you know, black. But people say, no, black and white are tints. They are not colors. Shut your bitch ass up. Black is a color, you know. You feel me? I don't know. I, I feel like black is a color. But if people say, no, it's not a color, then it's red. But, uh, not a lot of people like yellow, I guess. Because if you have like a yellow wall, people say that that's, that that's the most obnoxious color, the most annoying color. If you start it too long, you'll get paranoid. I wonder if that's true. Sun panels. I got some of, some sun panels on my room as well. How much I long for good weather, oh my god. She's just lying. Hey! She's a genius for this. I'm telling you, right away, she is way different than a lot of K-pop artists that I've listened to. Because I usually listen to groups and not just singular artists, but she does not. She she does not really talk about love mainly. She also wants to be heard and spreads out a message. You know, she is really different, and her styles, her hooks, she knows exactly what she's doing, and it's not like she's rapping and like doing too much. Not at all. But yet, it sounds hella catchy, and like I always say. Sounding catchy doesn't mean that you're good, you know. Catchy doesn't mean good in particular, but I guess of what she's doing, her lyrics also have context, has substance, content. She knows what she's doing, she knows what she's talking about. Her visuals are appealing. There's not really a lot of bad stuff that I can say about her. So I understand why she why she is one of the most popular ones. And it's not me like giving extra praise or being over exaggerated. Speaking facts right here. Speaking facts. Like, even this beat is limited, but it works. Really appealing. I'm telling you. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
That's also really trippy. I like that. Yeah, man, she's amazing. I'm telling you, she's amazing. I really, I really enjoyed that. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for those recommendations. I mean, she definitely, uh, on my list, one of my favorites. Most definitely one of my favorites. Uh, if you can, I don't know, if, if you ask me which one was my favorite, I'm kind of hesitant, hesitant between um, Lilac and Eighth. Yeah, Eighth. Eighth is my favorite. I got it. I got it. Uh, but she has a lot of also cool songs that I still have to check out. But I don't want to keep on, you know, first time reacting to. I will still react to some new artists soon. But I will also like to uh, finish off some, some catalogs of different artists and such. And like I said, more Blackpink and other artist related stuff coming to you soon. And not only K pop, uh, but I just be loving this. I've been loving the community. And I'm. Uh, I'm free for now, so I can make a couple of good videos soon, and uh, thank you guys so much for uh, supporting me and my channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, please subscribe. Become an Asadian today, because your boy does post consistently. My name is Asadian, aka Lucas, and uh, what I will say to you is bye.